What's going on everybody and welcome back to JDD TV. I'm your host Josh and we are coming at you today with a massive blockbuster trade in the MLS. Canadian men's national team fans and TFC fans will definitely enjoy this one. I didn't do a live stream because of the issues that are going on with Rogers, so we're doing a nice quick little video here and I want to get all your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. So let's just jump right into it. Tom Bogart tweeted out earlier, breaking Toronto FC agree blockbuster deal to acquire Canadian men's national team Mark Anthony K from the Colorado Rapids. Per sources, K returns home, reunites with Bob Bradley. The Rapids will receive Ralph Prizzo, which is, I mean, a player that I mentioned earlier on. I think it's a talented young player. Rapids were looking for someone who was a little bit younger, could kind of come in and not directly replace K, because I think he plays a little bit deeper than what K was playing at the Rapids. He's more playing like an eight, sometimes even as that dual 10 in the Rapids, but still a good piece to bring in. Around one mil in GAM, the 2023 international roster spot and a TFC's first round super draft pick. So a big package sent over to the Rapids. I think it was a pretty decent deal from both sides considering that Mark Anthony K is going to be able to be plunged right into that midfield for TFC. I'm just picturing Bob Bradley, man. You want to see that 4-3-3 system. Michael Bradley is kind of the holding. Then you got a, a combination of like an eight-ish players on both sides with Jonathan Azorio as well as Mark Anthony K. K can obviously drop down a little bit deeper while Azorio has the ability to go up. And then you got Bernadeschi and Insigne on the wings with Jimenez up front. That is a tasty looking 4-3-3 system as long as they can, you know, manage out that back end. But Mark Anthony K, in my opinion, played his best ever football under Bob Bradley at LAFC. It's what really got my attention years ago when he was playing there. So I'm excited to see what he can do coming back home to TFC. Something to prove. And this is just a big, big move. It, it simply is. There's a lot to get in. I think TFC arguably won the deal. I mean, I, like, I do think it's a decent package, but I think all in all, they're getting a player at 27 who's a Canadian men's national team star. He'll be an interesting player to come in this mix under a coach that he likes. I'd argue that TFC won won the trade, but I, I think it's a pretty fair one. Like I said, I think the Rapids are getting a good young player, the the funny money, you know, they're getting a little bit of that, an international roster spot, and of course, the first round super draft pick. So it's what the Rapids were kind of looking for. Stephen Caldwell broke this news a little, a few days ago. I, I did a little stream on it as well. And I just think overall, it's, it's something to be excited about. It's something that I think TFC is going to really help balance his team. We know that Alejandro Pozuelo moved on to Inter Miami. He's, a, he's an MVP, MVP caliber player, but he's a cam. He plays in a 4-2-3-1 at the heart. That's where you're going to get the best out of Pozuelo. He was kind of almost playing at a false nine from time to time and playing a little D, playing on the sides. Like he just wasn't being able to be used to the best of his ability. And you're not going to see him at the MVP level standard if he's playing in these different positions. He doesn't, in my opinion, really fit that 4-3-3. He needs to really play up in that 10 Hopefully he's going to have a new lease on lights over an Inter, and I think that he probably will. Inter Miami will be a good home for him. So they shifted out a big piece there. They opened up an opportunity to hopefully switch up the shape because I just think that this new roster screams a 4-3-3. I think Bob Bradley would like to play that system. I think with the new pieces potentially coming in, it's going to be a real good fit for Mark Anthony K. The number one question you guys asked me about Mark Anthony K is, will moving from the Rapids to TFC affect his, his spot with the national team? In my opinion, no. I, I don't think at his age i mean i don't think he really needs to go over to europe i think that playing regularly playing in a team that will be competing and getting better with is something that's going to be good for mark anthony k making this decision to go from the rapids to tfc as long as he's starting which i'm assuming that he's going to it's it's a it's a it's a lateral move but i mean it's an exciting move within the mls coming back to canada back to where you know mark anthony k started his career so it's a really cool move all in all I think that it's probably a better place to be than Colorado, just because I think TFC will have the ambition to try to make the playoffs instead of the Rapids who are kind of, you know, looking for young talent, kind of want to do a bit of a rebuild. So I think it's a good move for TFC. It's a decent move for the Rapids and a pretty solid move for Mark Anthony K. We'll get a lot of attention back here in Canada and I'm excited to see him play at home leading up to this upcoming World Cup, guys. So let me know down in the comments below who you thought won the trade. If anyone out there thinks that the Rapids did, let me know. Let me know what you guys rate this trade. Do you think that Mark Anthony K coming back to TFC is like a 9 out of 10. You think he's going to suit this system, suit Bob Bradley? I can't really come up with a reason why it wouldn't, but I definitely want to hear from you guys because we weren't able to do a live stream because Rogers is something else today. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's the breaking news. Really cool information coming through. So I know there'll be more on the story as the days probably progress, but for right now, all we know is Mark Anthony K will be a TFC and hopefully a TFC star in the near future. So guys, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub if you guys are new around here, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, friends.